In 1994, Chris Boardman, the world air record holder and Olympic pursuit champion, took his brilliant track career onto the road. He signed pro for the GAN team at Greg LeMond and targeted the Tour Prologue in Lille. A three-week stage race was uncharted territory for Boardman. So was the kind of pandemonium that surrounds the Tour, even for an Olympic gold medalist. But riding against the clock was something he could control and do better than anyone else. Well, he's out of the start house, a magnificent crowd now. The question is, can he do it and get the yellow jersey for Britain? On his famous Lotus bike, Boardman rode the 7.2 km course between Lille and Jura Lille at 55.152 km an hour. No one had ever topped 55 over even the shortest prologue distance. Chris Boardman is doing the ride of his life. He's won two prologue time trials this year, and this one could be the one. He's right on the back wheel now of Luke LeBond. He switches to our left of the picture. He goes smoothly by. He's the first rider to catch a man today, and look at the ride by Boardman. This is going to be a superb time. Only in Girena, Robin will get near this, I can tell you that now. Boardman on the line, 749.97, and the crowd are going berserk. And Chris Boardman has done everything he promised the world. He has won the prologue time trial. He will become the first British rider to wear the maillot jaune of the Tour de France since Tom Simpson in 1962. The icing on Chris Boardman's Tour debut cake should have been wearing the jersey in the UK when the Tour crossed the Channel. But he was too fast for his own gang colleagues in the team time trial on stage three the day before. They fell apart behind him and the jersey was gone. But his prologue time remains and he's still the fastest man in Tour history.